Now this is the only landed property that you can get in Singapore for $1.2 million. We are in 39 Jalan Bahagia, the only HDB landed property left in the entire Singapore and we're going to bring you to one of the largest one that we can find and this is 2,217 square feet in land size. It gives you a four bedroom corner terrace unit. Let's have a look. Alright, so this is one of the nicest HGB lander that we have seen in the Wampo Gardens estate. And how this entire landed and cave came about was that in the late 1950s, Singapore Improvement Trust, in short SIT, they were the ones under the British colonial governors to develop public housing in the early days. And then when HGB was established in the 60s and 70s, they took over the management of the public housing right here in Wampo Gardens together with Sterling Road as well. And they refresh the lease back to 99 years. So I would say that it will be very difficult for you to get something that is like this anymore because HGB has already stopped constructing executive masonets. Not to mention HGB landed properties definitely is not in construction anymore. So 285 of them in total, 200 of them sitting at the Wampo Gardens estate and in totality there are 28 blocks and these are all made out of inter terraces and corner terraces. So you only have 56 corner terraces right here. This one that we're standing in right now, the land size is 2,217 square feet. You have a total build up made out of 150 square meters and that is about 1,600 odd square feet. Now this one has been beautifully renovated and a, a over the past 10 years. The structure that you see behind us has been done when they bought this 10 years back and progressively our owners have renovated and maintained this place beautifully including this very nice side garden right here. Something about this corner terrace at Block 39 Jalan Bahagia is that you have this nice like your own little green field right here for your kids to run around. Of course this is a public area here but there's no roads here. Closer road is pretty far away. Bamboo trees here were done by our owners so this is a bonus that you can get. So out of the 200 landed properties right here, if you want something that looks like this with this amount of livable area, you have to go for the 56 corner terraces that are available right here. By default, if you were to purchase a floor plan, you'll be shocked to see that it is classified as a three-room masonette. Which brings us to the reason why the conservancy fee is only $55 a month staying in the landed property right here. Of course, it does not come with a parking lot because you have to park at the designated parking space for all the landed residents right here. Now by default, there are only two bedrooms and one bathroom which makes sense on why it's being classified as a three-room masonette. So what happened was that when our owners bought this 10 years ago, they wanted to have four bedrooms and two baths and they did a remod, almost close to a gut renovation of the entire place, spending close to about $250,000. In case you're also wondering, hey, uh, should you buy an older kind of inter terrace here or maybe an older corner terrace and then do up to your own liking. Uh, let's just show you some of the older photos that our owners have when they were actually renovating the place, spending $250,000 to build up this place because not only the costing, it's also the time that's involved. That includes a lot of submission to the authorities, seeking approval from URA. If you are planning to buy an older inter or an older corner, definitely you have to set aside maybe perhaps close to about six to nine months to do up to this extent. This living room right here is an expanded version because the original living room right now is now being used as a huge playroom. Right now, you have three bedrooms on level one. You have an um, expanded master room on level two. So in future, if you want to remod level two into another two bedrooms, it's still possible making this into a total of five bedrooms. So with that, I'm going to probably take a rest here first and Jessly is going to take over and bring you through the entire level one. Coming into the living room, this whole fully approved extension is all made of glass partition. So even if you were to off all the lights, a lot of daylight can still come in. The whole dimension of this extended living room has a very generous height of 3 meters, a length of 5.3 meters and a width of 4.8 meters. So even if you were to put an L-shaped sofa that can sit up to 8 people, you still have a very generous and ample distance to your TV console. Right behind me, they have already installed a six panel 
full height sliding door so you can enjoy and even walk out to your private backyard for you to do your gardening or even have tea with your friends. Let me bring you to the dining area now. Look at this open space concept. This is your dining slash dry kitchen area. So over here is your dining. Currently, it's a four-seater layout, but you can easily change up to eight-seater for you to host your family and friends. A lot of details has been done into this dining. Look at this whole span of huge glass panel over here. You can be rest assured that there will be a lot of daylight coming into your living space. Over here, the top and bottom kitchen cabinets have already been done. Countertop is made of quartz. The glass backsplash has already been installed. So if you are doing heavy cooking, it will be easy for you to clean. Similar to the front, over here you have your kitchen top and bottom cabinets already done for you. All of them has been installed with soft closing system. So not to worry, it can still last you for quite some time. One interesting thing is this kitchen island over here. This is fully movable. So if you would like a more spacious dry kitchen area, feel free to just roll this away. For those who enjoy heavy cooking, I'm going to bring you to the wet kitchen area. The first thing to note, a three panel sliding door has already been put in place for you to partition the wet and the dry area so the fumes do not get into your living space. Here you can find your cooking stove and they have built in a full length kitchen countertop for you to prepare your ingredients with ample storage at the bottom for you to put in all your cooking pots and utensils. Behind me, we have an extended backyard that is generous in size for you to do your laundry. You can put in your washer as well as your dryer. You can even allocate a helper's room behind as well. Now, let me bring you to the first common bedroom. It is right here in the middle of the dining as well as the dry kitchen. Over here is where you can find a nicely renovated bathroom. The floors as well as the wall are made from marble look-alike homogeneous tiles. Here they have installed a vanity top for you to put your toiletries as well as this very cute basin you have here. You can see here that everything is new and in pristine condition so you do not have to spend a single cent on this bathroom at all. Over here, you can see a very sizable granny room. Here, you can put a queen size bed as well as space for you to put in your wardrobe. Behind me, you also have an entrance that heads towards the backyard of this house as well. Should you require additional space, this partition wall over here can be easily removed and we have the coats ready for you. If you would like to partition the dining area and dry kitchen away from the living room space, they already installed the PD door system, which is a four panel system. And I think this is a really good concept. Now we are at the entertainment room. Look at how spacious this is. They have converted it into the kids as well as the parents' entertainment room. Look at the men's cliff they have allocated for the father. This is really the paradise for all gamers you out here. They even have this racing simulator with steering wheel as well as the paddles all installed nicely over here. And this is the amount of space that you can convert into a fully functional bedroom. So we have some 3D renderings ready for you, for you to visualize how this space can be converted into. So I'm going to bring you to the next little common room right now. This tiny bedroom has been converted for the arrival of their baby daughter. You can reinstate this into a normal bedroom, put in a super single size bed here and have your study desk on this side. As you walk in further, you notice this extra space. So this is where you can fit in a full panel wardrobe for you to put in your clothes. So this bedroom, ideally, it can be used for one of your child. Finally, let me show you the second floor of this rare corner terrace. As you go up the stairs, you can see that the lights are already installed on the side and the steps is made from parquet flooring. Yeah. 
Originally, the second floor used to be a two common bedrooms, but now they have converted it into one single master bedroom together with its private ensuite as well as a walk-in wardrobe. They have removed the original handrail and changed this into a frameless glass panel railing so all this interior will make it look more seamless as well as modern. Vinyl flooring has been done throughout and look at the current setup over here. They have put in two huge beds and that's because the parents are sleeping with their kids. Alternatively, you can maximize this usage and change it into your master bedroom. Right behind me is where you can find your private master ensuite. The owners have installed the flooring and the walls to be done consistent with the first common bathroom that you see on the ground floor. A lot of details has been done here. This is not just a mirror but also a cabinet for you to put in your other toiletries. The flushing system is built and is made of Gabbard brand. Over here, they have built in a cup for you to partition the wet and the dry area. A half glass shower panel has already been installed as well. This bathroom is somewhat like a Jack and Jill type because you have two entry points from the bedroom as well as from the walk-in closet. A L-shaped clothing rack has already been put in place and look at the amount of clothes that you can fit in here. Now let me bring you to the living room and I'll pass the time to Melvin who will be sharing a little bit more on the pricing analysis of this unit in one pole. Alright, so in terms of pricing, you might be wondering, hey Melvin, this has a balance lease of 50 years Asking price is at $1.2 million. Will it then be wise to buy such a property right here in the Wampo Gardens Estate? So we have three ways of looking at this. You might be looking for a place that has four bedrooms. You want more like a landed living. But at the same time, you don't want to go for the 99 years version of pure landed properties, which might be threading in the range of about $1.8 million. This one, I would say, is definitely one of the lowest quantum that you can find in a landed home because this is $1.2 million. Only thing is that you need to decide will the 50 years balance lease make sense from your perspective. So let's break down in terms of numbers. The first way of looking at it is that if I go by the depreciation balance lease formula, I take $1.2 million divided by the balance lease of 50 years, that will give me close to about $20,000 per year in terms of the depreciation. If I were to break it down by per month basis, that means that every month, this property is depreciating by about $2,000. Let's say you are planning to rent a landed home somewhere within the city fringe area, at at least minimally you have to come up with close to about six thousand dollars to rent an inter terrace having two thousand dollars of depreciation in terms of value versus six thousand dollars that you're paying in terms of rent then you can decide which one will make more sense for you whether is it to rent or is it to own now second uh, perspective that you can hold is that you can buy this, live here for at least five to eight or maybe up to 10 years. It still gives the balance lease of about 40 years. Even after you live here for 10 years, there is going to be a cluster and profile type of buyers that will still be interested in this type of properties. So who will be interested in this type of properties after five to 10 years? This will cater very well to retired couples. Perhaps they have been living in a landed home for maybe 30 to 40 years. They have seen appreciation in their freehold landed properties. Perhaps they have recently sold it for about five to maybe seven million dollars they don't want to compromise on the size to live in a thousand square feet type of apartment fully pay off a 1.2 million type of property and then keeping their balanced cash for investment for their retirement years that is the key reason why i think a lot of retired families they are really looking for this kind of very unique properties in the Wampo area. Third perspective, you can use this as a pivot home for your first property. For example, if let's say you want your first home to have that grand size and you don't want to keep moving around and you just want to have the accessibility to be able to travel to town very quickly, let this be your pivot home, $1.2 million. If I were to divide out based on the loan tenure at 75% loan, and let's say I presume the interest rate is around the average of 1.5, percent your money installment is going to be about three thousand five hundred odd dollars per month after five years of mop you can then decide on whether do you want to invest in a second private property of course you have to take into consideration the absd and ltv use that as an investment you don't have to keep moving around because a lot of families 
after buying their first property, it becomes too small, the kids grow up, they have more children, and they always think about switching their primary residence. So this can be a very nice investment strategy as well as you move along on your investment journey. Let me share with you a little bit more about the amenities that you can find within Wampo and Balestier area. For schools within 1km, you have the popular Hongwen School. For schools within 2km, you can find CHIJ Primary and St Andrews Junior College. If you are looking for shopping mall, we do have Songshan Mall, Novena Square, as well as United Square all around the vicinity. For nature lover, we are also very close to Wampo Park Connector that brings you to the riverbanks of Kalang River where you can have a slow jog and enjoy the beautiful scenery. Alright, so welcome to the end of today's home tour. Hope that you enjoyed this tour with us. And if you have liked what you have seen and you want to own a rare HGB landed property just like this one behind us, this is asking for $1.2 odd million. If you would like to arrange for a viewing, do contact our listing manager. The details are down below in this description box. My name is Jessie Lim. Melvin Lim. Property, property Lim, Lim Brothers. Brothers. Always, always happy, happy to, to show, show you the place. place. Uh, e oh, it's a yula. Okay, okay. Bye, bye. Where do you go? Song Baru Apa. Ah! Wait, ah. One more time, one more time, one more time.